Hello, today we've got the Heimer B514 and we're going to put some antifreeze into the radiator. One of the problems that we have with an integrated vehicle is that the access to the engine is very much reduced. And uh, today, as we can see, for example, to access to the radiator fluid is very hard to come by. Now here, I have got some antifreeze to put in there. This is normally used for the Aldi radiator systems, but it's the same as what goes into the vehicle. And how will I, for example, I'll leave the cap on, how would I get that into there? No, it's not very realistic, is it? So, let's have a look what we can do. We'll first of all take the cap off, screws off. Oh, even that is a bit tight. But anyway, so we'll put this down here. Now, in this part of the vehicle, we have this pipe. Very clever, and although it could probably do with a funnel as well, we shall use this to put the radiator fluid into the vehicle. It also works for other fluids that we have to put in here as well. Obviously not the oil, but the other fluids as well. So, I could put it in, for example, like that. Oh, it doesn't want to go. So let's try the other side. We'll put it in like that. Now, I can see a problem here that this is going up, so we'll have to start easing it down. Let's see how well we do. Is this a job for one person or two? That is the question. Okay, let's now take this off. Leave this here. And just checking that's in the right place. Let's put a little bit of glycol, so radiate the fluid in. and then gently ease it up. So this is going to be a much longer job than it would be in a semi-integrated vehicle. But a semi-integrated vehicle doesn't have some of the other benefits of an integrated vehicle. You see, so I put two lots in and it's now getting relatively close. We'll put another lot in.